What's up guys, thanks for tuning into the vlog. In this video I want to take you through how we made these really cool outdoor seating units for a new public space right at the entrance to the Brooklyn Bridge. So let's get into it. So this is a pretty big project with lots of different seating designs, but for the most part all the designs are based around a simple 2 foot by 2 foot modular waffle frame system. Let's take this standard seating unit for example and break it apart into its main elements so you can see how it's put together. First we have three pieces of quarter inch laser cut steel with slots cut into them to allow for three more pieces to slot in and create the main structure. Next we add a 90 degree bracket at each corner to lock the whole system together and also act as a support for the wooden tiles. We then add the mitered wooden edge pieces, the central two foot tiles and finally a planter box. So now you have an idea of all the bits and pieces that go into making these street furniture units, let's head down to the shop and see how we made them. This project begins in Brazil with this little yellow tree known as the Ipe tree. Well technically it's actually a species of flowering plant, but you get the idea. Starting in the 1960s, much of the Ipe imported into the United States was actually used to maintain a lot of the country's boardwalks, including the famous boardwalk at Coney Island in Brooklyn. It's Ipe's durability and longevity that make it really suitable for outdoor public projects like this, and that's why we chose it for the seating of our street furniture. The efficient thing about this design is that it's based around a pre-made 2 foot by 2 foot Ipe decking tile which means we were able to focus our attention on the more custom parts like the 45 degree mitered edge pieces. We cut the first batch of the edges, so these are all mitered at 45 degrees. Um, we have a 6 inch, a 7 inch piece and a 6 inch piece and they get glued together and nailed together to make the edge of the street furniture. eBay can be a very difficult wood to glue. To ensure we got good adhesion, we sanded all the mitered edges and then cleaned them with mineral spirits to remove any excess oil that might prevent the glue from bonding the surfaces together. We then used Gorilla Glue and stitched the joints together with a pin nailer. We decided to get all the steel laser cut in this amazing metal shop in Pennsylvania, about a three hour drive from Brooklyn which we discovered was about the perfect amount of time to eat your own body weight in gas station snacks. The six hour round trip was a bit of a trek for one day, but I have to say it really was worth the journey. We got to see a lot of the amazing scenery in Pennsylvania, but also just going to the factory to see what these incredible laser cutting machines can do in person was really inspirational. gave us a great sense of what these machines are actually capable of, which in turn helps us be better designers in the future. Apart from the opportunity to see the factory in person, the main reason we drove all the way out there was to make sure that all our tolerances were correct and that the steel was going to slot together just as we intended. In order to do this, we cut one full street furniture unit and assembled it in the factory before giving the go-ahead to cut all the remaining units. About two or three weeks after our visit to Pennsylvania, we got the first shipment of powder-coated steel to our shop in Brooklyn. The first step was to assemble one of the smaller units to make sure all of the parts fitted together and everything aligned correctly. First Ipe panel slotted in. So here you can see like the construction system. So it's waffle frame steel and then we have these uh, 90 degree corner brackets which are recessed just enough so the Ipe tile can like slot in and become flush with the steel. Once we were happy that everything was fitting together nicely, it was time to call in the cavalry and start the assembly line. It just so happened that the install date for the furniture coincided with when a lot of my family were over visiting from Ireland. 
Needless to say, I roped them in for a few days of work. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about the project, definitely leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you're not subscribed to the channel already and you'd like to see more content like this, definitely subscribe and you can also click the little bell button at the bottom right of the video and that will notify you when I've got new content. Also if you haven't already, you should check out some of the other videos on my page as we've been working on some pretty cool and interesting projects this summer. But other than that, thanks for watching and uh, I'll get some new content up in the next week or so. Thanks.